Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscure Angel PD and for today what I do have in here it is Strange Brigade. So this game it is developed by a team called Rebellion, which is well known for their Sniper Elite series and they are using pretty much the same engine as Sniper Elite 4, but this time you either choose to use Vulcan or you either choose to use DirectX 12. So this is uh, my settings that I decided to go and play with it, it's 720p with 50% uh, resolution scaling and all the settings at the minimum settings possible, this is completely potato, so it's pretty much the minimum you can ever go ever, lower than this you can really go because it's almost very difficult to look at this screen with this graphic so this is really potato style so the minimum requirements for this game asks for a i3 2100 and 4 gigs of ram and also a gtx 750 ti well the reality it is that in fact we are able to run this game but well despite the performance it is good the graphics are, like I said, potato. This game, despite it supports a campaign and you actually have a campaign, and that's exactly what I'm using in here to test it out the game, it is the campaign. Most of the game focused on the multiplayer, especially the cooperative. This, uh, this is the type of game where you try to lure your friends into and start to play against hordes of zombies or any other kind of stupid or strange enemy that will appear. Your characters have powers depending on the medallions that you carry and you actually have classes where you can choose uh, different types of weapons. I didn't really lost too much time around this game because uh, since I didn't have access to the multiplayer uh, side of the game and I didn't have the friends to play with, I really didn't export too much into this game so I'm very sorry for that but at least I'm here to display the results and in fact this is one of the things that I want to say I'm very sorry it is because I wasn't really able to show you the frame rate in the corner just like like I usually do in all the videos this is because unfortunately uh, playing with Vulcan doesn't really allow you to to have MSI Afterburner working at least with the version that I'm using while DirectX 12 it does um, it does provide you the ability to to display those stats but unfortunately DirectX 12 despite it performs better than Vulkan in this game there is some serious issues with this GPU and this laptop and sometimes the game just stops for 3 or 4 seconds and so because of that I do prefer the stability of Vulkan in this graphic card than using DirectX 12. Anyway if you want to have an idea how the game performs uh, regarding frame rate, I did upload another video before some days ago, uh, which did show you the performance using the benchmark tool that the game have. All right, so if you are for some reason interested in this game, you can get this game from Steam for 50 bucks, which is uh, well not the greatest price for the type of that game in my opinion. Kid, it should be cheaper, but unfortunately it costs 50s. But uh, don't worry because if you want to get this game cheaper you can get it through Kingwin. Uh, the game it is sold by there uh, in there I mean for around 20 to 50 to 25 dollars which is pretty much half of the price that the Steam is selling. So if you don't have problems with buying through great markets uh, you can buy through Kingwin. There is links on the description for Steam and for Kingwin. All right. So guys, that's it. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video. Hope, uh, if you have any questions, just leave on the comment section of the video. And I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Let's get cracking then. Oh, well spotted. Yes, looks like you're on the right blades of glory. I can think of a few good uses for these razor-sharp rotaries. Keep rolling, Brigade! 
Gain what? Got it! This'll sort him. Ammo! Ammo? Yes, please. Whatever's happened here, no one managed to escape on one of those boats. Lovely loot. Oh, fully charged. Fantastic. Caged dead chaps. There's something you won't see at Regent's Park Zoo. This should do the trick. I'm reloading. Big guns. Success, good show. Look at the size of these blighters. Let's hope some swift gunplay could cut them down to size. Blaming Nora, watch out for empty fingers. That'll come in useful, I wager. <laughs> <laughs> 